They came from every corner in this country and they were just magnificent. They brought with them their ideals that their parents gave them and that's a great thing to remember because this stuff doesn't happen you just gotta pass it on. It's been a joy to work with them here and we're taking this on of course to New Hampshire where we're gonna have a I want to thank all the volunteers from Iowa, those who work in our factories, who work in our farms, our environmentalists. I want to thank those who are small business owners. I want to thank organizations like Iowans for a sensible priority in that work. <laughs> and we thank our brothers and sisters in labor and steel. and our auto workers. We want to thank the Farmers Union for standing with us and the Friends of the Earth and the Environmental Community. Woo and for all of you who've come out of state to help us, we thank you as well. You know, I was Woo talking to John Campbell last night at that great rally we had where 3,000 plus people came to just spur John on. And John told me a really wonderful story. He says, you know, John is the political director of the steel workers. He wasn't quite sure how all these folks that really kind of maxed out and helped us out were going to do it. He said, they were in the trenches, they were on the phones, they were out in zero degree temperatures, knocking on doors. So we thank you as well. We thank the lawyers for justice. We thank celebrities like Marilyn So and Jamie Denton and Gene Smart for all the work they did. Chapel Hill staff, you know, they're kind of out there, but in Chapel Hill, North Carolina, they're the ones that put together a lot of the internet programs and the policy and the political, David Medina, James Gavall, Christina Reynolds, Aaron Myers, the finance people, Fred Terry, I see Brian Mitchell over there and Andy Seeker, and the great staff help that we got from Paul Blank and Miles Lackey and Kathleen McGlynn. Chris Cofinas in our communication department, our traveling staff, John Davis and Mark Cornblue and Sam Myers, our strategist, Jonathan Prince and Joe Trippi and Harrison Hickman, uh, Mud Can and Cooter and, and Mary Culver and, and Leo Hendry and you know, Bill, Bill Brady and the legal staff. All of you all just been fabulous. And we want you to know we love you and we thank you so much. This is a, a, an evening. It looks like we're going to come in second tonight. And John Edwards took on some of the most powerful machines in this country. That's right. He's been outspent in this state. He beat the Clinton machine here. like his dad and his grandparents and his grandma. These are folks that get up every day, they punch a clock, they pack a lunch, they pour their heart into soul and every one of their paychecks. And someone needs to speak for them, and John Edwards is speaking for them and going to continue to speak for them. about the future of our country and our future of our children. So, let me just end with this. And then I want to bring some people up to speak with you. There was a great civil rights leader named A. Philip Randolph who once said that justice isn't given, it's exactly. If you want it, you've got to fight for it. You've got to stand up and fight for it. And this is a fighting campaign and John and Elizabeth Edwards our fighters who are going to fight for change, we're not going to back down, we're not going to negotiate with the special interests and cut a deal with the special interests that have been stopping what we need in this country. And with your help, we're moving on. We're going on and we're going to keep this campaign moving and we're going to take that message to the American people and that is a message that we believe in the end will be victorious as we move. <laughs>